So we've been in touch with regulators around the world about the inspections that need to take place with 737 NGs. Um, there have been over 1,100 737 NGs above a certain cycle uh, uh, that have been inspected and only 5% of those aircraft have seen any sort of uh, impact. Um, you know, we haven't seen any in, in the Indian market, but we continue to work closely with regulators to make sure that we follow the process. So what about the Boeing 737 MAX and other problems that you are facing? When do you think 737 MAX will be able to come back to skies? Sure, sure. Um, we, we don't have a specific timeline on the 737 MAX. We're working closely with regulators and also ultimately it's up to them. We look forward very soon to a certification flight with the FAA and then re the return to service which could follow thereafter. Um, but we're also working very closely with uh, our customer airlines, with their pilots, with their flight crews, and, and to talk about the safety measures that were added to uh, the software on the airplane, other measures in the flight controls that we put in for even more redundancy, and how we're transparent with the customers about what safety measures we added and how confident they can be uh, to fly this aircraft in the future. What about the Indian market? What kind of projection you give as far as the selling of planes is concerned? The real driver of demand for aviation around the world, but especially here in India, is the growth in terms of the economy and also the growth of the middle class. And that's why we see India as being the fastest growing aviation market for the next 20 years. We've got a doubling in terms of the middle class in the next 10 years. The, global, or the Indian economy will be the third largest in the world in the next 30 years. So those are key foundational drivers of aviation demand and airlines will be able to connect more people, more economies and more routes than ever before. So talk to us about the new planes that are going to come to the world market and new technology also including the flying taxis. Well I mean in the long term we're looking at all kinds of new technologies. Um, I will say you know the airplanes we're bringing into the market today are between 10 and 20 percent more efficient than the aircraft that they replace. So our future view is what other elements, what other technologies can we bring in to continue to drive efficiency and capability into the aircraft. We want more efficient aircraft but also aircraft that can be more versatile within a network and so those are things that we look at every day. In terms of future technology, um, we, we, we have a view and we have investments in all different sorts of mobility going forward, whether it's supersonic or whether it's urban mobility. Um, what we see in terms of that element of the market is how, how does it complement the existing aviation infrastructure and how can it enhance the marketplace? What technologies could we bring into commercial aircraft or how does the urban mobility help support today's aviation infrastructure and make it even more efficient?